this plugs into your OBD port. When the switch is in this position, it allows the Forescan to be a code reader, but it doesn't allow you to edit any of the settings on your car. You switch it that way, and then you can also edit the settings for things like auto lock and uh, you know, flash when the doors are locked, those sorts of things. And then obviously that end just plugs into your laptop. Plug in your connector to the OBD port. Key on. And then connect to the vehicle. I found a few other things. Like there's your dark car. Disabled daytime running lamps. Disabled. I don't know if I hit enable what that's going to do since there's no factory lights there. And then the turn signal warning chime, that one I'd like to turn off because I can't stand. We have a lot of places where you have to make a lane change, stay in the lane, and then turn. And so I hate that thing beeping at me when I know my signal's on. <laughs> so hopefully that's turned off now. So I'm still trying to figure this out, but it looks like you go to here and then whatever you want to change, then you hit the play button there. And then, oh, here we go. There's those. I'm trying with Chuck. So we're going to edit those too. Because I like the automatic lock and unlock. So I guess you have to edit and then write them. Yep. Alright. So there's a few things you can do with it. It's probably worth getting the extended license if you like to mess with any of this stuff. We'll see if the auto lock and auto unlock feature is working. Yes, it does. Cool. Here I'm using it on my 2008. I'll just show you the different menus. You basically click, hit the play button, and then you can change these various settings, whatever you want to change them to. After you're done editing, you have to hit the right button or it won't save it. And then you have to hit the stop button at the bottom there to switch to editing a different section. And in between each, they want you to turn the key on and off. And then in this section, you see you've got your auto lock, auto unlock, and you can set the warnings for your low tire light to whatever setting you want. If you're using the factory tire pressure instead of an aftermarket one which you'll see in my next video uh, me personally I want the warning light to come on at the lowest setting which here is 30 and I also like this lock confirmation flash when you close the doors the parking lights kind of flash at you just to let you know that they're done I do not know what Smart Unlock and Wigwag are, so I didn't mess with those. But again, you hit right to make sure you save your changes. And then you hit stop to go to edit a different section.